All right, let's begin with column A. The important point to recognize here is that the even integers from negative 12 to 6 will include the number 0. So as such, our entire product must be 0. Now on to column B. Let's take a closer look at this product. Notice that we have three negative numbers, so this product will be negative, and then we have a bunch of positive numbers, so this product will be positive. So we now have a negative number times a positive number. This will be equal to a negative number. So we now know that column B has a negative value and column A is equal to zero. So as you can see, column A must be greater than column B, which means our answer is A.